Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So I thought I'd do an um, end of year review for 2018 and just go through the kits that, uh, that I've done during that year. There are a couple of kits I can't get my hands on. Uh, one was for um, Twisty Clown and uh, he ran a group build for military appreciation and I did a P51. And then the other one was 100th anniversary of the RAF where I did a P40 in um, RAF colours. So <clears throat> the builds that I can grab out of cupboards and such like are all on the table here. And I'll just uh, very quickly do a, an overview of them. So these uh, first two, um, as you can see, it's the DeLorean from um, Back to the Future and also Sea View from uh, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. And that was for a group build that was run by Edgar of uh, Mad Labs. <clears throat> really enjoyed that group build as uh, these are two models that I probably would never have built if uh, he hadn't run that. So thank you, Edgar, for that. Um, I did start um, a couple of other builds for that uh, GB and I'll finish them off at some later date. <clears throat> the next one is a 172nd uh, Typhoon from Airfix, which I did for the uh, Spiffy Tiffy group build run by Martin, um, international British modeler. Then this one down here is the um, Armstrong Whitworth Whitley, uh, which was the twin group build, which I think was run by Tim Hedworth. Then we had this entry into the, what the hell was it? In foreign service group build and uh, as you can see this is a b17 in um, it's actually in coastal command colors so that's that if we go back down here we've got uh, several builds so at the front we've got a churchill crocodile then we've got uh, the m1 113 is it uh, troop carrier we've got the chaffee behind that we've got a uh, matchbox challenger one We've got a U-boat, we've got the 1-2000 HMS Hood, and at the back there we've got uh, USS Indianapolis. Uh, these were just built during the year for fun. Um, I just decided that I wanted to build them and I did. This, uh, this truck here is um, a Russian truck in German markings and it was supposed to form a diorama for the Kursk anniversary of Kursk group build. Unfortunately that's all I got done for that. <clears throat> the next one was for the sorry about that guys so this is uh, uh, an ambulance French ambulance from the Great War group build the truck next to it is a 172nd scale Chevy and this was for um, Chevy truck month uh, which was uh, run obviously last year if we <clears throat> come up again and just pop over here We've got USS Lexington, and this is for the Lady Lex group build. This is uh, this was my first entry. I've still got two other 1700 scale ships to do. This is the Meng 1700 scale. Down here, <clears throat> we've got my all at sea group build so far uh, entries. So we've got the Sea Hunt, the 172nd. Uh, Revel Seahun, we've got the Cutty Sark from Airfix, and down here we've got HMS Endurance, I think is the one that I modelled it on in the end. We've also got <coughs> here the uh, entry I did for the Sherman GB. Unfortunately, I did a diorama and uh, that didn't uh, that didn't last the course, unfortunately. Then we got here the um, World War One group build entry that I did, which is a 172nd female tank. And then I did a few dedications. So this one here is uh, the Sukuf, a 1350 scale hobby boss, and that was a dedication to Buildrat. Um, this was. Uh, a kit that I've done the most uh, photo etch on uh, ever I think 
and uh, it was also an entry in the All at Sea group build. The next one was um, <coughs> Havoc 172nd Matchbox and this was my dedication to Dorg. Then we had 172nd Liberator which uh, was a buddy build with Charlie Mack but turned out uh, eventually to be a dedication to him and to his father um, because of uh, his father's service and his connection with um, what was his name? Jimmy Stewart if we go round here to the other side this monster here at the back uh, is the biggest build I've ever done I think um, <clears throat> and this was my dedication to Solomon aka life at work um, because I think Pappy ran a dedication kind of group build to uh, Solomon so into the final straight then guys <clears throat> these are all my office builds where basically I take a model kit to work and during my lunch times I will construct them and then bring them home and, and paint them so at the front here we've got um, Churchill Mark 1 then we've got a Churchill bridge layer uh, that one's a matchbox sorry that one there is Hasegawa then we've got the Churchill uh, bridge layer again from Airfix different type obviously then we've got the Churchill Mark 2 from Hasegawa which can be made at the same kit as the Mark 1 then we've got the Cromwell uh, which is um, Airfix again 172nd and finally at the back we've got the T34 from Matchbox so there we go quite a, a haul um, as I say there are two kits missing from this also I did quite a few uh, Games Workshop figures um, which uh, I haven't shown in this uh, this video I hope to do uh, better this year and uh, fill the table even more so you can hardly see any wood uh, which will please my good lady anyway guys uh, thanks ever so much for watching and thank you for your support over 2018 and let's see what uh, 2019 brings us uh, hobby wise see you soon